Hello, you're listening to a stereophonic camera. I'm about to play these two speakers with pink noise. You're at a distance of roughly about a foot and a half, and I have a scale here showing inches to show the separation between the speakers. I have this speaker on wheels, so I can move it forward and backwards to sort of align the phase, and left to right. Uh, it's a little bit rickety, it's not exactly meant for this. Uh, but it, we're going to start off with the two speakers exactly equidistant to the listener, to the stereophonic microphone in this camera. So we'll turn up the volume. So comb filtering is an effect you get whenever you have two speakers reproducing the same channel of sound into a room, however at different distances. There's a uh, constructive and deconstructive effect with the waves coming out of the speaker that changes the tonality so that uh, the frequency response goes kaflui. You'll hear that quite easily with the pink noise. Here we go. Turning up the volume with my remote. Equal distance. Now I'm going to move laterally. Hopefully you can hear that this difference in separation in inches greatly affects the tonality of the perception of that channel. Therefore, center channels should come from an exclusive singular location or have electrical digital delay time alignment so that the two speakers are equidistant to the listener, which almost no gear, at least none that I'm aware of, has the capability of doing. You'd have to rig your own system for that. Oh, and if you're thinking, oh, well, I only sit in one position in my room, what about the person sitting to the left of you? What about the person sitting to the right of you? Getting equidistant speakers for more than one listener is extremely difficult. So here we are for part two. I'm going to have to move the speaker uh, vertically by hand. Uh, the scale has been moved now vertically. I can get even closer now. The speakers are actually touching. Before I had them separated by this metal pole, uh, but now they're exactly touching. So first I'm going to do front to back and then up and down. So this will more replicate what it would be like to have a center speaker above and below a, t a television screen. Turn up the volume. separated now. So <laughs> Separating them on the vertical plane is not as bad as on the horizontal plane, but it still has comb filtering. Comb filtering should be avoided as much as possible. So first I'm going to do front to back and then up and down. So this will more replicate what it would be like to have a center speaker above and below a, t a television screen. Turn up the volume.
separated now.